Hi there, my name is Cole Bolter. I've been in NAB trade for over 10 years and actively trading the markets for 20. Recently I've spent time with a wide range of our customers, all with different investing goals, assisting in the setup of their NAB trade RS Viewpoint workspaces. Now using what we've learned from customer feedback, we've created this video series to introduce you to NAB trade RS Viewpoint and to help you get comfortable with navigating the platform. Throughout the series, We'll also share some tips that might help you tailor the platform to suit your own investing needs and to help you get the most out of Viewpoint. So whether you're just starting out and are looking for help with a simple setup of two to three widgets or a more experienced trader wanting a complex setup with multiple widgets per worksheet, this video series is for you. In today's video, I'll provide you with an introduction to the platform, cover some initial functionality and navigation as well as provide you with an overview of some basic setup options. So let's get started. The screen in front of you is your blank canvas. This is more formally referred to as a worksheet. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to set this up. There are six pre-created template worksheets available to you, and these can be accessed through the tabs in the top left corner of your screen. This is also the main navigation menu and where you can customize the worksheets to suit your needs. We've created these templates to help you get started, so you can feel comfortable with adding, resizing, and moving of objects. Worksheets can also be renamed for easy reference. Don't forget to hit enter to save once you're done. The worksheets can also be reordered by clicking, dragging, and dropping into your preferred sequence. In the top right hand corner is the hamburger menu. This is the general platform setup and I recommend you taking a look at the different options in your own time. But something that is of interest to many is the ability to change the screen from the default dark style to the light style. Now we will look at how to create your own layout. I will also share some of the standard widgets for when you are first getting started. You can always add on from here, but these are what I have found to be the most useful. Before we get into the detail, an important feature to call out is Viewpoint's auto-save functionality. This automatically saves any changes, so when you log back in, all of your changes will still be there. Similarly, if you mistakenly remove an object, you will not be able to revert to the original, so bear this in mind as we move to the next portion. Dividing your screen allows you to insert many objects into the worksheet. The plus symbol allows you to add a widget, and you will find this symbol in a few places on Viewpoint. Clicking on this will bring up the widget menu. To date, there are seven different categories of widgets with a total of 33 options to choose from. You can favorite your preferred widgets by clicking on the star in the top right hand corner. The news widget will provide you with useful insights and market updates. You can add the news widget to your worksheet by double clicking on it. You can also create a filter, filtering by what is most relevant to you, or by entering a stock code for relevant news relating to securities of interest to you. Now I suggest adding the watchlist widget to the other side of the workspace. You can have multiple watchlists and load in your own. This further enhances your worksheet by having all of your data together in one place, rather than having to navigate to other screens. Splitting your screen further allows adding more widgets to your worksheet. Next, add a chart widget. You can choose a security from your watch list and drag it into the chart widget. This allows you to see the current price action for that security. You will notice there are navigation menus on every widget across the top. This allows you to control that widget. Hovering over the menu items provides an explanation of the menu action. Detaching or maximizing a widget allows for increased focus on a widget. Once finished, you can close it to place the widget back in its original position. You can remove a widget from within the widget's main navigation menu. Inline Actions is a feature of Viewpoint to replace the right-click options found in other platforms. You can see the various options available from this menu to assist in getting to the right item quickly. Now that you've learned to set up a worksheet with widgets, you can then go on to set up the other five worksheets to suit your investing methods. For example, if you're a large user of 
user of Watchless, which I clearly am, it may look like this. For an active trader doing a lot of intraday trading, you have a large selection of widgets to assist your trading decisions. Daily monitoring of the markets can be undertaken with a different setup. This was a general overview of setting up the viewpoint worksheets, with some examples of a couple of useful widgets to help you get started. I hope you found this video helpful. For more information on NABTRADE IRIS Viewpoint, visit nabtrade.com.au forward slash viewpoint.